The former footballer launched into a heated discussion about the government's treatment of striking workers during ITV's World Cup coverage. He has since landed himself in hot water with the broadcasters after receiving over 400 Ofcom complaints. Throughout the tournament, Qatar has been criticized for its treatment of migrant workers, the LGBTQ community and women. During his time presenting, Gary claimed that there needed to be conversations surrounding the issues that were taking place in the UK too. He claimed, we should detest low pay, we should detest poor accommodation and poor working conditions. That is something we can never accept in this region or in any other region. It's worth mentioning that we've got a current government in our country who are demonizing rail workers, ambulance workers, and, terrifyingly, nurses. In our country, we've got to look at workers' rights, but wherever football goes now we have to pick up on workers' rights. People have got to be equal and they've got to be treated as equal. We can't have people being paid an absolute pittance to work, we can't have people in accommodation that's unsavory and disgusting to work in. It can't happen here with the wealth that exists. But it shouldn't happen in our country that nurses are having to fight for an extra pound or two pounds. According to the Daily Mail, an Ofcom statement read, We are assessing this content as a priority and have asked ITV to provide us with details about the broadcast to inform that work. GB News presenter Patrick Christie's recently hit out at Gary Neville for his party political broadcast and compared his hypocrisy to Prince Harry. He exclaimed, Gary Neville was a decent right back but he is an absolutely terrible left-winger and frankly comes across as a complete WK. There is a special type of narcissism reserved for Gary Neville who treated us all to a party political broadcast during the World Cup final. Dot, I think that he thinks he is doing the Lord's work, but actually he just sounds a bit thick. The World Cup final was one of the best games of football the world has ever seen. Of all the times that Neville could have piped up with his party political broadcast, that was probably the most pointless and irrelevant. There is a touch of the Prince Harry's about Gary isn't there, I think he genuinely feels as though he has tapped into a higher echelon of intellect and his duty on this planet is to pass that down. Like Prince Harry, he appears to be totally unaware of his own hypocrisy. Gary Neville is worth millions and has a huge profile in the footballing world. He could have easily sat out of the World Cup if he wanted to if he had a moral compass at all. Tell me more about good morals, Gary, while you're lining your own pockets sitting in a country where gay people are killed. I just thought the execution was wrong, having said that he can get execution lessons from his new best friend. Patrick Christie's airs weekdays from 3pm on GB News.